Uh, one of the main differences you see in the H and the J is uh, the H has a four-bladed aluminium prop and we have a six-bladed composite prop here and in an emergency scenario it's a lot safer and it's a lot simpler there's far less moving parts than the older H system. I guess uh, fundamentally it's still a C130 if you look at the outside you'll see a few things have changed it's a little bit longer uh, but the insignia is still the same it still has the Kiwi Randall it still has the 40 squadron compass it's uh, you'll see there's it's a bit longer here beside behind the parador and the same in the front it's about 5.4 meters longer so I can carry two more pallets it's obviously a whole lot more payload uh, when we're going away or a whole lot more cargo um, it's got formation strip lighting on the outside, so you'll see these strips uh, for nighttime formation. There's a boot up on the vertical tail there for de-icing. Uh, so the H uh, will get a bit of ice build up on the tail, and uh, they wanted to alleviate that with the J, so they put a boot up there uh, just to kick a bit more ice off for us uh, when we're in those situations. Uh, so this big bulge on the top is for Jetwave, which is high-speed internet. So uh, in flight, we've got internet in the aircraft whilst on the H. Uh, it's essentially getting information via text message or a sat phone. The time I've found the Jetwave most beneficial was flying to Antarctica. Whilst in flight, I was getting live weather, actual imagery. Uh, we can be real-time emailing people. It gives me a lot more situational awareness whilst in flight. And uh, in that part of the world where the weather changes that quick and things are always changing, it's, it's really beneficial. Uh, so on the front here, you'll see this is an MX-20 camera. So we can view colour imagery through that. We can view infrared imagery. Uh, so it'll be great in a search and rescue scenario or a HADAR, which is humanitarian aid and disaster relief, using a combination of the camera and the high-speed internet on top of the aircraft. We can get instant video from anywhere in the world back to where it needs to go, and they can make a timely decision as to how to proceed. Um, because the C-130J is just over five metres longer than the H, we can carry two more pallets, uh, so eight versus six, and we can carry about 130 people in this versus around about 90 in the C-130H. Uh, obviously more efficient, less taps to wherever we need to go, and uh, more payload, more cargo. Uh, the main difference in the front end for us is we have this thing called a HUD, which is a head-up display. Uh, so we used to have a primary flight display in the H, uh, which gave us our sort of attitude, airspeed, altitude, and navigation information. Uh, nowadays we look straight outside through the HUD and we've got all the information we could possibly need. Essentially we don't have to look inside a lot, unless we hear a ding ding or a beep beep or something's going wrong, we can be looking outside for 90, 95% of the flight. One of the biggest disadvantages of the C-130J, we now have a microwave. In the H we had an oven, so we've gone from uh, crispy pies to soggy pies, it's quicker, but I miss the oven. In the back end the J is very similar to the H, uh, obviously a little bit longer as we talked about. And it has uh, flip rollers now, so all the rollers on the ground that we move our cargo on, are now stored on the ground, we just rotate them and they're good to go. We used to have to store them all at the side of the aircraft, which is a bit of a pain. The Loadmaster wise, they, on the H they used to use a slip stick or a slide rule and a bit of paper to calculate their trim or the aircraft's weight and balance, and now it's all done on a computer, which is a, a big win for them. And it makes, it, makes load planning much quicker and uh, I'd say a lot more accurate. Cool. The old H model had what's called a honey pot, which is essentially uh, a big bucket used as a toilet. We've uh, really upgraded with the J, so we've got this flushing toilet here, uh, a nice little flush button up there, and a proper toilet seat. Nice curtain that goes around it. I'll probably say on a long flight, this is the best upgrade. Um, a lot of things between the H and the J are still the same, so I guess 60 years ago they got a lot of things right. The airframe is still fundamentally the same. It's got the same fuel systems, the same flight controls, the same landing gear. The engines are quieter. Um, some people like that, some people don't. It's not as cool for a fly past, but it is a lot nicer to fly, it's, uh, it's quiet. But there is a few things to bring it into the 21st century, such as the head-up display, we've got upgraded engines and props, and we've got high-speed internet, we've got a camera. Um, so myself and the other squadron members at uh, 40 Squadron are really looking forward to putting this aircraft to use, and it's uh, proven itself for us uh, over the years, and I'm sure it will do for many years to come.